Hey, this is Bjorn Rebney, CEO and Chairman of Bellator MMA. You're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman from ProMMANow.com with the one and only Sugar Shane Mosley. How's it going, sir? I'm good, I'm good. How you All doing? All right, what are you doing here at Bellator Fights tonight? Uh, check it out, the good action, uh, some great action going on, and uh, you know, happy I came down. Are there any fights that stood out to you? The title fight, maybe Pat Cran's hands, anyone who stood out to you tonight that you like the hand game? Well, I mean, I liked the, the first, uh, I guess, 125 or 26 pounder, the lightweights, they were pretty good. Um, both guys uh, seemed to have pretty good boxing uh, ability and, uh, and fought pretty well, you know, I guess standing up. How often have you, like, tuned in at MMA, whether it's Bellator or UFC or anything, just occasionally or a little bit or, or what? I mean, occasionally. I mean, I've been to a couple. I've been to uh, some at the uh, MGM Grand. Uh, I watched a few on TV. and You know, I knew a few MMA fighters, like Rampage and a yeah. few others, yeah. What, uh, you know, what about, like, King Mo? Do you know, you're familiar with King Mo's training a lot with, like, Floyd Mayweather uh, Sr. now? Uh, I'm not familiar with him, but I've seen uh, Floyd, I've seen Jeff Mayweather here. So. Okay, Jeff Mayweather, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yes, Jeff Mayweather. And, uh, yeah, King Mo's actually fighting in Bellator uh, next week, making his debut. So oh, you have to check him out. He's got a pretty good hand game. Oh, you yeah. know, Rampage might be a free agent soon. You know what? We'll see where Rampage ends up. And he's talking he wants to box. Yeah. King Mo's saying he wants to box Kimbo Slice up. So you never know what's going to happen. That might be pretty fun. I mean, they had, uh, what's his name, uh, the, the king of the four-rounders. What's it? Butterbean? Butterbean. They have Butterbean doing his thing, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, Butterbean, <laughs> Butterbean, Butterbean fought yeah. MMA a little bit. I think yeah. he lost to like 130-pound Takoro once, so, but you never know what's going to happen in MMA. You, you never know. You like it because it could be high kicks, it could be knees, it could be slams, it could be groundwork, it could be jokes. Do you kind of appreciate it, the science of MMA? I definitely do. I mean, it could be anything like that one guy, you know, got choked out. I mean, even James Tony went got choked out, so, I mean, it can be... Like I said, it's an art. You know, it's different skills. You know, you got to kick, you can punch, you can choke, you can grapple. I mean, it's all kind of cool, right? It's, it, it, everything. Does it know? make you want to learn some grappling now? I, I tried a little bit already, but yeah, I'm 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 good with boxing though. Yeah. Bo that, that, You're pretty good with the boxing. I'll admit that. I've been doing, I've been doing for like years. What do you got? What do you got coming up? Uh, I'm gonna fight April twenty. April 27th against Pauli Malignaggi in uh, New York. It's supposed to happen, tentatively. All right, so hopefully that will happen. you get back in the ring soon and be right. making that money. Well, win the world title. Yeah. That's, that's the next thing. All right. All right. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, go to promomainnow.com.